Check this out folks, I've got a cracking little tip for you. No more ugly screw caps. No cover buttons or plugs. And no fillers. G'day folks, Uncle Nackers here and in today's video I'm going to share with you the old invisible screw trick. Now you're going to want to watch this, so let's do it. Oh yeah, and I think I might have to work on my magic act just a little bit more as I seem to be lacking somewhat in that whole performing magic department thing, so yeah. Might give the X Factor a miss this year. Now for this little bit of carpentry wizardry, all you're going to need is a sharp chisel, which to be honest for me, was like trying to find a black cat in a coal cellar. Seriously, I think I have the bluntest chisel set in Australia. You'll also need some woodworking glue, some baking paper from the kitchen. Yep, you heard right, some baking paper and a clamp. So what is this carpentry sorcery that I speak of? Well, instead of using conventional methods of concealing a screw, like using caps, cover buttons or fillers that you can either paint over or colour match to the wood that you're using, give this a crack. So what we have are two marks for two screws. For this one, we'll do the invisible screw trick and for this one over here, we'll just use the conventional screw cap method. And then at the end of the video, let me know down below which one you like best. Okay folks, listen up, this is what we need to do. The first thing is to make sure that the piece you're working on is clamped down nice and tight because you don't want that moving around. And then with the flat side of your chisel facing down, line the center of the chisel up with your screw hole and then from the top of the wood come down between one and two millimeters, which is not very far at all. And then gently but firmly, while holding your chisel level, start chiseling a thin strip of wood without breaking it off. There you go, that's pretty good. Next up, all we need to do is to drill a pilot hole for our screw and then follow that up by countersinking the hole. Hey Nibbles! Get off your phone and can I please have the drill, drill bit and countersinking bit please mate. Seriously, that rabbit on a three month trial spends all his day on the phone eating lettuce. He's not gonna last, I keep telling him. Lift your game boy, lift your game. Speaking about lettuce, did I tell you the one about a good friend of mine who's Irish and he has a snail farm? <laughs> yep. Fair dinkum, a snail farm. Anyhow, he had this one wild rogue snail that would escape every couple of days and he just couldn't work it out. He thought, what's he do? Does he jump the fence or does he use a pole vault and pole vault his way over? And where's he escape to? It was just, just an absolute mystery. So anyway, a couple of days ago, my Irish mate goes to his letterbox to check his mail, opens up the lid, looks down, and there's the escaped snail eating his mail. <laughs> so in his Irish accent, he looks at the snail and he says, Oi, stupid. I thought I said letters, not letters. <laughs> Just a whole communication breakdown thing, so yeah, pretty funny. Wonder if that's where the term snail mail originated from. It's worth a thought. I'll be off. And now just simply screw the two pieces of wood together. Beautiful. And this is where the magic happens. First of all, nick one of your kids' school paintbrushes. They won't miss it. They've got heaps of them. And then apply some woodworking glue liberally to both surfaces. And don't be shy with it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now it's time to close this up. So what we need to do now is just gently 
replace that thin veneer of wood back to where it once was. Squeeze that excess glue out, just like that. Then give it a bit of a clean up because you don't want glue everywhere. So clean that up with a wet rag as much as you can. It looks pretty good. And now, pro tip, with that baking paper, if we place it over that surface, if any glue comes out, our clamp isn't going to get stuck to it. Now we'll put a block over that so we don't damage the wood. And then we'll just clamp this nice and tight. That looks pretty good. And we'll come back in a few hours time and see how it looks. Okay folks, this is it. The moment of truth. Let's see how this turned out. Take that clamp off. And now, take away the paper. Oh, look at that. It's meant to be a screw there. That is awesome. And it hasn't even been sanded yet. So there you go folks, that's the invisible screw done and dusted. Now all you need to do now is either apply a stain or a couple of coats of paint to this and you won't even know that it's there. Now compare that to the screw with the cap on it down here and I think this turned out pretty good. Now I think that one deserves a great tip, knackers! Now, if you want to see more videos just like that one, make sure you check out my last episode where I make this cracking little straight square cutting jig. And that should be popping up over there just about now. Hope to see you there shortly. Alrighty, where's Snibbles? If that rabbit's on his phone again, there's going to be trouble. Mark my words. Nibbles. Nibbles.